All right. So. I put. What? Go ahead. Hey, you guys, it's me again. So today I am going to review a little sample Sephora. Um, I got, uh, I got it through, I want to say Instagram. You just put in your information, your address and stuff, and you get, um, three sample packets. And as you can tell, I've already opened the green clay mask. Um, they're from the Sephora collection. And, um... So, it's from the Sephora collection. Um, the first one is gray clay mask. The second one is the pink clay mask. And then the third one is the green clay mask. As you can see. Um, the gray is supposed to... Uh, is the skin balancing and mattifying. The pink is unifying and brightening. And the green is purifying and pore perfecting, which the green one has these, if you can see, these little exfoliant beads that are like, I know it's like, um, at first I thought it was like maybe like the harsh ones, but then when I took one off, it's like soft. It's almost like the, um. Aveeno, uh, oatmeal, uh, exfoliate, um, it's kind of like that, or the, like the one you pour in the, in the bathtub where you get the little powdery substance, it's like a, almost like a oatmeal base for your skin, um, so I am going to go and yeah, it's pretty dry. You don't want to leave them on too long. So, I'm going to go and rinse it off now. So, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, hi guys. It's me again, Mega Cassie. So. Alright, so I'm back again. Um, going to rinse it off. Oh. They uh, redid the formula. They used to have the micro beads in it, but it's just now with uh, oat and sea whip, which is uh, like a sea whip. Sea um, whip is. You can you can find it in the ocean. It's uh, attached to one of the, the uh, plant lifes in the ocean. It's like um, it's like how you find collagen in certain things, or um, the the sea the snail the snail um, extract um, that they put into a lot of skin products. Um, not necessarily see slugs, see the snail extract from an actual snail, but like they come up with this uh, equivalent or like a, a synthetic version of it. So anyway, I'm going to now rinse my face off. and him and this slimy ass toothbrush. Pretty neat. 
I mean, the little beads kind of grindy a little bit. That's why I was like, is this some sort of glass in here? I mean, I would say to use something like this. Maybe I wouldn't even really use it. I wanted to try it out. The little, beads, the little exfoliant beads are a little rough. Yeah, they're like really grainy, so I wouldn't. Personally, I'm not going to go out and buy this. If it didn't have the exfoliant beads in it, I would because I like the scent. I don't know. It just smells green. Like a green tea kind of mask. But it's got the little beads in it. And, you know, I know... Dermatologists suggest that you don't use anything with beads in it. So I'm trying not to scrub my skin with it on. Yeah, some of these are really. Honestly, they could have left the beads out of it, the exfoliators out of it. But when I exfoliate my skin, I just use, I, just, I, I use my face towel, my wash rag. I mean, it's nice and soft. But I didn't fucking, ooh, excuse my language. I didn't freaking, like, scrub my skin with it on. I don't. I mean, I'll probably use it again, but not as much as I'll use the other samples. And I usually only put clay masks on my T-zone anyway. Um... Like sometimes right down here is where I get a lot of acne. I wish a dermatologist would come out with like the best face masks on the world for like acne prone skin. Yeah, see, if it didn't have these beads in it, I probably would buy it. But it's got these little beads in it. If you've ever had something, or if you've ever kept, like, worn something with elastic, that's what these remind me of. I don't know, these look like green, like tree bark. Kind of looks like tree bark. I don't know if you guys can see that. Focus. Focus. See what I mean? It's weird, isn't it? Those two little things, like, that. I don't know. Kind of looks like 
if you've ever had a sugar cane, you know, the pieces of cane. I mean, my skin is nice and smooth. But I'm not going to be using something with an exfoliant in it. I mean, if it didn't have the little beads in it, I I would purchase it. Because they're only $8 a piece. And like, I had tons of clay masks. Masks, pill masks, cool masks, you know. Sea salt, gray sea salt, cooling mask. What is it? Sea, Dead Sea. Dead Sea mask. Um, soothing wash off mask with dead sea salt and minerals. And this is something that I, I like to use all over my face now. Because it's very cooling and it has like a cooling effect. Um, my skin's very, it's very sensitive. So I tend to use products that kind of, especially in the summertime, like my cheeks get really broad and sensitive. Even in the wintertime too from the cold air and like skin starts peeling. So I try not to, I don't put much of anything on my cheeks like when my acne medicine i just put it in my acne prone areas i don't put it on my cheeks because my cheeks will get really raw and red and it start peeling really badly but um i mean i like it and i like the scent i just don't like the fact that it has exfoliant beads in it so i try not to rub it you know like I usually do with masks like that I'll rub it off with the dead sea mask I usually like put the water on rub it around and rinse it off but that's why I didn't want to and I, it's nice and soft but I don't know I'm gonna try the other one I'm gonna try the pink one next week and then see how I feel. Or maybe the week after next. Um, but the pink one is brightening. But, um, oh, you have to excuse my eyebrows because I dyed them earlier. So that's just leftover brow dye that you see right here anyway I'm gonna go moisturize my skin possibly start getting ready for bed because I am super tired so leave me your thoughts your comments your remarks your opinion on these masks if you've tried them before if you like them which ones you liked because there's other ones too um I wish I would have got a sample of all of them. That would have been really nice instead of just three. But um, I might go to Sephora and get like a couple of samples. Um, but uh, the other ones just to try them out. Um, so let me know what your thoughts are on, on, the, on these masks, on these clay masks. Um, which ones you like, which ones you don't like, um, subscribe, hit that subscribe button down below, click that notification bell, subscribe, click that notification bell, leave a like, and in that, I will talk to you lovely people in the next one. Love ya. Peace. Oh, yeah. You have to excuse my fingers. I burnt my fingers. Oof. Two weeks ago now. And it's starting to grow back. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> New skin growth. Anyway. Um, love you. Peace.